I braved COVID-19 to watch this movie so I could give you guys the scoop. So the movie New Mutants is finally out and after two and a half years, you heard me, two and a half years of delays and reshoots, the movie finally came out. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this movie was supposed to come out back in 2018. At the time, this movie was owned by Fox and because of reshoots and test screenings, they pushed the movie back later in the year. And then they pushed the movie back to 2019. And then they pushed the movie back to the end of 2019 and then Disney ended up buying Fox and they pushed the movie out to 2020, then COVID happened and now we have New Mutants. This movie was surprisingly good. No, really, it was really good. When you think about this movie and the history of this movie, the fact that it was once a Fox movie and it was set in the same universe as X-Men Apocalypse and X-Men Dark Phoenix and both those movies themselves are trash, let's be real. X-Men as a franchise has always been hit or miss when it comes to Fox. Then you have the reboot into X-Men First Class. Phenomenal. Arguably, no, fuck that. The best X-Men movie of all time, right? And then you have Days of Future Past. The second best X-Men movie of all time. So at this point, Fox is on a roll. They're doing good. And then Apocalypse happens. And then Apocalypse happens. And we're like, this shit is trash. And then New Mutants gets announced. And we get the trailer for New Mutants. And we're hyped. Because at this point, because the success of the franchise, it, they decided to go with a more horror genre type of X-Men movie. And we know that Fox, while their X-Men movies are hit or miss, when they step out of the box and do different stuff, it's really good. For example, Logan, an X-Men movie that was a Western, Deadpool, works. And now you have New Mutants, a horror X-Men movie. So I braved the horrors of COVID. You see what I did there? You see what I did there? To go watch this movie. And I have to say, Surprisingly, it was good. Was it great? No. Was it trash? No. But it was good. It was better than Phoenix and it was better than Apocalypse. And I, I know, I know. The Apocalypse Phoenix, the bar, the bar is kind of low. But even though the bar was low, the movie itself, I liked it. It was nothing spectacular, but because it was a fresh take on the tired superhero genre trope. I enjoyed it. Because for the most part, we know how these movies go when it comes to superheroes. Bad guys come, they save the world, superhero landing, poses, all this shit's happening. But this movie is more a sane asylum horror. And let me tell you guys a secret about me. When it comes to horror movies, I, I don't usually get scared, right? But when it comes to a sane asylum movies, that shit gets me. Like that that confined environment. And the fact that nightmares were coming true throughout the movie, like, it was, it got me a little bit. I ain't gonna lie, because I, I felt, the movie felt claustrophobic, and I felt claustrophobic. Could the movie have been better? Yes. Should the movie have been rated R? Yes. So, but you're dealing with a bunch of teenagers, their worst fears, inside a mental institution, being guarded and watched 24-7. The fact that it was claustrophobic really worked. And I have to say, the fact that this movie was released during a pandemic kind of adds to the mystery and the mystere of the atmosphere of the theater. Because when I walked in there, there had to have been like 20 people in the entire theater. We're talking about a whole auditorium, Dolby Atmos, big ass screen, hundreds of people could have sat here and it was just 20 of us distanced because of social distancing. And it added to the level of the movie. And I have to say like, that was something, maybe they didn't plan it, but that was something that actually worked. The fact that it added a new layer to it. But am I expecting a sequel to this movie? No, because Marvel bought the movie. There will be no sequel. But would I like a sequel? Yes, because these characters are interesting. I have to say, like, watching Teenage Mutants get Teenage Mutants. <laughs> Let's focus. Watching Teenage Mutants actually do what they have to do, it worked. And I like the fact that these aren't like the X-Men where they're teenagers, but like because they have Professor X, their powers are cool powers. No, these people are fucked up in the head and their powers are dangerous and they kill people. Like when you're a mutant teenager and your powers manifest, like you don't know how to control it. You're, you're gonna fuck somebody up. You're gonna fuck somebody up. Really, you are. And I like that fact. It's not, oh, our powers manifested and this bald guy and his jet comes and saves us and whisks us off this expensive mansion. No, our powers manifested and evil people took us to make us human weapons. The premise of this movie works. The overall delivery, eh, because in the first few minutes of the movie, I have to say, the first few minutes I'm watching this movie, I'm like, the first 15, 20 minutes, I'm like, oh my God, this movie's gonna be whack. It, it just is. But then as the movie progressed, I find myself shifting. I was watching a movie like this, 
then like this, then like this, then like this. Fuck, I fucked up my arm, damn it. Do I cut? Nah, we could keep that in. <laughs> so I find myself into the movie, entrenched, and I'm like, okay, this movie works. Is it phenomenal? No, but it works. And I enjoy the fact that this movie works. I enjoyed it a lot. I, I like New Mutants. I like the characters. I like the fact that it's taking superheroes into a different realm that we've never seen them in. We've never had a horror superhero movie, and we know New Mutants has characters. Their powers aren't, they're not as glamorous as the X-Men. They're not as high profile as the X-Men, but we take that, we move their world into this horror confined space, and you release it during a pandemic, and I'm like, oh, this movie could work. And it does. And that's my problem with the Disney Fox acquisition, because I don't think we're gonna get movies like this anymore when it comes to superheroes, especially in the X-Men universe, because the X-Men themselves have to tackle, or they've been tackling for the past 60 some odd years, they've been tackling more nuanced stories, more like stories that aren't being told, more off the grid, gritty social stories. And that's what X-Men does. So imagine taking a bunch of kids, putting them in an asylum and feeding off their fear. That's a movie that's claustrophobic, that's intense, that is against the grain of typical Marvel movies. And we won't be getting that with Disney Marvel movies. We're gonna get the same formulaic formula, which don't get me wrong, it works, but I like the fact that Fox was taking different approaches. Because of Fox, we got Logan. Because of Fox, we got Deadpool. And I have to say, because of Fox, we got New Mutants. In the hierarchy of X-Men movies, New Mutants is slam in the middle, edging towards the top. Like, if you take all the best X-Men movies, First Class, There's a Future Past, X-Men 1, X-Men 2, Logan, in no particular order, right? And you have all the other ones. New Mutant is right there. Like you have, what? I forgot Deadpool, shit. Okay, New Mutant is right in the mix somewhere there. <laughs> it's right in the mix. It's there, it works. I enjoyed the movie. Um, I would recommend you go watch it. If your theater is like mine and there's not a lot of people watching, if it's a bunch of people there, leave. Like, cause when I got there, we had to, cause when I got there, we had to darn our mask, sit down. And I'm glad movie theaters are cold because this is kind of hot. But be responsible, go watch the movie, let's go back into theaters and enjoy movies again. That's what New Mutants set off to do, and I'm excited that I saw it, I really enjoyed it. And guys, if you have seen it, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, you know, check me out, hit my Patreon if you guys are new here to support the channel. But guys, until next time, binge on.